Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on Simply and Multiply Connected Regions. Now, we are ready to move on to more complex contour integrals. But before we can do that, we need to learn some of the most important integral theorems in complex analysis. And those, for example, they, they are the Cauchy Integral Theorem and the Cauchy Integral Formula as well as the Residue Theorem. But before we can do that, we need to first acquaint ourselves to the and be able to distinguish between simply and multiply connected regions. Now, why do we need to do something like that? For example, for example, a function like fz equals to z square is actually analytic over the entire complex plane. Now, I did not actually define and say what I mean by analytic. What you can think of is a few, a few things. First, uh, you can think of it being differentiable. Okay. Actually, uh, more accurately, is to say that its Taylor series exists for a analytic function. And for a simple function like fz equals to z square, uh, this function is analytic over the entire complex plane. But unfortunately, of course, uh, most a lot of functions are not analytic over the entire complex plane. Uh, they are only analytics in a in certain regions in the complex plane. So let us sketch. Let us sketch the region over which f z, a general function of the complex variable z, is analytic in. And it may look something like this. It might look something like this. And uh, outside, outside of uh, the region bound by the curve, uh, here f z is not analytic. So let me change the pen color. So out here, f z is not analytic. Okay. Whereas inside here, inside this region which we are going to call R. Fz is analytic. Okay, and in this particular region R, we say that this region R is simply connected because we can draw closed curves. We can draw closed curves inside R, uh, which where, which bound where where all the points in that are bound by the Closed curve C are, con are contained in the um, contained in the analytic region R. So we say that this particular region, we say that this particular region R is simply connected because there are no holes in the region. Okay. Now, what do I mean by holes in the region? Let me now sketch the analytical analytic region for another function. Okay, so this is the real part of Z and this is the imaginary part of Z. Let's say that we are dealing with another function f of Z whose analytic region looks something like this. So, it is not analytic out here. Okay, but it is also not analytic in here. Okay, now let me call this region here R 
prime, this region R double prime, and this region R triple prime. And the region inside, the region which is analytic, let me call it R. Now, this particular region R is uh, multiply connected. It is said to be multiply connected because of holes, which are actually the regions R double prime and R triple prime, okay, within it. Okay, now how do we know that uh, region R has holes? Uh, again, you know, we go back to closed contours. So suppose we define a closed contour that looks like this, C. Then of course, every point in that is enclosed by C uh, belongs to the region R. But if we define a closed contour that looks like this, let's say this is uh, C1, then clearly uh, some points that is enclosed by C1 belongs to R, but other points, other points here uh, that is enclosed by C1 does not belong to R. Therefore, uh, this curve here, C1, is not simply connected, and therefore we say that it is multiply connected. So another curve that is multiply connected is C2, because we see that points that are inside R triple prime is not part of R. And of course, a closed contour that contains both R and R prime, so let me call this C3, okay, is again not simply connected because it contains points inside R double prime and R triple prime. So it is important to pay attention to this distinction between simply connected and multiply connected regions because the most important integral theorem uh, in complex analysis, which is the Cauchy integral theorem, applies only to simply connected contours. So if you are working with a multiply connected region, you need to be able to perform surgery on any closed contour that is not uh, that is multiply connected to make it into a simply connected closed contour. And we will show that in the next video segment.